So let's actually set up now the catalyst and contact. And let's have them work together so that we could see what's going on. Now, first, let's make sure that we have the catalyst set up. You're going to go to default sessions. You're going to go to MIDI select. And since we are using loop B1, because we're connecting to a program, it would go here. If you would want to use, if you don't have contact, that you didn't download the contact six, you can always use the output of the wavetable synth and you could hear the sounds. Uh, that may be good for creating um, those slot sequences, but for playing, it's impossible that the latency is way too high. <clears throat> so now we know that this is set up. <clears throat> and now we go to contact. We have to make sure that contact is set up. And there's the MIDI set to loopy one. Now, you can also tell that it's working because see that it's connecting with this, even though it's off by, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit. It, it is working. Okay. Now, if it ever stops working and you're scratching your head, why did, did the communication stop? Loopy One has a monitor port. And sometimes this monitor port goes on and when it mutes, everything stops. So you unmute it and everything comes back on. If you accidentally go here and you click loopy one, loopy one there on both of them, you will get a loop and that will cause that to go. It can't tell you how many times that bit me. So make sure this is unchecked. Okay, so we want to make, so I don't want to use the bender because it's only a few notes. I want to be checking um, with a bigger file. So remember I told you that in the P cloud and many C folder, there's an NKI file. So you can go look for it. Make sure you download that file because it's really big and put it on your hard drive somewhere. So it's on my hard drive somewhere. And I also said it in another video that when you find the sound that you want, you look for the NKI file and you drop it here. And if it complains like this, so this means you have to direct it to the folder where it was just at because it's a little stupid. Uh, uh, there it is, and then it loads in, and um, and then now we're ready to make some sounds. So now you know that you're getting it to work. If you have a uh, little keyboard, I have that little Nexus keyboard. When you hit it, you see the light blink, and you also see it working here. Now you know connectivity. Also, if you want to change the volume, by the way, these controls down here, let's say put it on channel two, and now, uh, whoops, I accidentally killed it, sorry. Let's go back. If I move this thing up and down, we, you can change the volume, and these things store those volumes for you. Um, so this is how, we can get the connectivity. It's important that you get this working because right before we went crazy when the classes came to an end, you guys were making your own loops. So since we can't use the programs that we have in contact, you can use the files that I gave you to come with, with, with some creative slot sequences. And I guess I'll make a separate video for slot sequencing. Okay.